guys and gals and welcome back to the D4A channel. As promised, today I'm going to show you how to install the Manon Racing Products Campbell Stabilizer on your 4AG engine. If you want to see the unboxing and review video of the Campbell Stabilizer and if you want to find out why it's a good thing to have on your engine, click on the suggested video right there. Now, when installing the Campbell Stabilizer on your 4AG, there are two things to take into consideration. Number one is this backing plate right here, and number two is the timing cover of your 4AG engine. Now, if you want to keep these two things on your engine, you will need to modify them in order to install the Manon Racing Products Campbell Stabilizer. Now, there are plenty of 4AGs out there that run without either of, you know, of these two parts, and they run just fine. If your 4AG is one of those engines, Installing the Campbell stabilizer is really easy. All you got to do is bolt it in into these two bolt holes. But I actually want to keep the backing plate and I want to keep the timing cover because I think they're really useful. The backing plate is really useful when setting your cam timing because it has these two nice markers. And the timing cover is also very useful, you know, because it keeps dirt and debris away from your timing belt. But first, just a really quick note before I show you how to modify the backing plate and the timing cover to fit your MRP Campbell stabilizer. And the note has to do with the placement of the 4AG engine inside your engine bay. In the case of my MR2, the 4AG is placed transversely, which is why it has this little, this big engine mounting bracket right here. If that's the case with your engine, you need to order the front wheel drive version of the MRP Campbell stabilizer. If the 4AG inside your car is placed longitudinally, like for example in the A86, the Hachiroku, you need to order the rear wheel drive version of the MRP Campbell stabilizer. Now let's proceed on to the modification. As you can see, the modification of the cam gear backplate is pretty much going to consist of removing this edge of the backplate that prevents the proper fitment of the Campbell stabilizer. Now the first step is simply to align the stabilizer with its bolt holes and mark the areas of the backplate that you are going to need to cut off. To cut off this part of the backplate I decided to use a Dremel tool and a cutting disc attachment. Now this is definitely not as fast as something like an angle grinder but it's far more accurate and it's going to minimize the risk of mutilating your backplate. So once I cut off the marked piece, I tested the fitment and once I was happy that everything could fit nicely, I smoothed out the edges using a little sanding drum attachment. And then I had the entire back plate powder coated, you know, to restore that clean and pleasing look. So once you install the back plate and the cam belt stabilizer, it's time to modify the middle part of the timing belt cover. Now this process is almost the same as with the back plate and the only difference is that you're dealing with plastic instead of metal, which means you're going to need to take extra care not to, you know, damage something beyond repair. Again, I started with a cutting disc attachment to remove a big chunk of the timing cover. Once I test fitted this, I proceeded with a carbide burr. Now, the carbide burr may not seem like the right tool for the job, but actually it removed material at just the right speed and really helped me make, you know, the final shape of the whole for the cam belt stabilizer. Once I got the shape right, I did the same thing as with a metal back plate and I smoothed out the edges using the sanding drum attachment. Now, because this is plastic and not metal, be very conservative uh, with the sanding drum attachment because it removes plastic pretty quickly. And after this, all that's left to do is install a timing belt cover and admire your handiwork and the clean look of your 4AG. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's how you install the MRP Campbell stabilizer while still retaining the signature 4AG timing belt cover. So, thanks a lot for watching. As always, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon on the D4A channel.